Hi guys, I'm Wendy Fan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how I make a string trellis. Now this is going to be a movable one, looks much like a fishing net, like a, a trellis netting that you would find at your garden center. However, if you make your own, especially if you already have some strings lying around, you can easily make one and it's just, I find it to be really, you know, meditative and kind of fun to do, especially when you can see the progress that, that comes out of your own two hands. And it's totally customizable when you make it yourself. I do have a previous episode on how to make a stationary string trellis that if you're interested, I will link it down for you to check it. Now this is the trellis that I will be putting the netting on. If you guys have not caught the episode on how I built this trellis for the loofah, be sure to check that video out. I'll link it down below for you. So I'm going to put the netting here so that it is easier for the loofahs to start climbing up until it actually reach to the top here. And um, hopefully, you know, I can get some boards hanging on the top down this like this. So let's get started. To make this netting, all I need is some strings. So if you guys already got some strings lying around your house, this would be perfect. However, if you are looking for, you know, a type of strings to use, I recommend using something like the nylon strings. I do like to use, you know, natural materials as much as possible. However, being in this desert outdoor environment, the heat is going to really beat down the strings and cause it to wear and tear very quickly. Or if you live in an environment that gets rain all the time, that would also, you know, cause the wear and tear on the strings as well. So I recommend using something like the nylon strings. This one that I'm using is poly and poly blends, mildew and rot resistant apparently. So I can't wait to see how well this would hold up to the weather out here in the desert. So let's get started with this netting.
Okay, now that the trellis nettings are done, got one tall one for the lufa and then the shorter one behind me here, that's going to be for the melons. So really excited to get to the next part, which is planting. I got some plants I started out from seeds. Really excited to see how they will do out here in the Las Vegas desert garden. So let's get to planting. These are some worm castings. Is ready to go. Hi, you guys. Hi. Hi. I hope I can get all of them on camera. guys i hope you have enjoyed today's episode on this diy if you did please like share and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell button so that you'll be notified when new videos are out be sure to go check out my past episodes especially for if you're interested in knowing how to build the structure of uh, this trellis if you want to connect with me through instagram and my website which i have some plans available for you guys if you like my work and want to support me that way i'll leave the links of everything that i've mentioned and things i've think would be helpful to you just below this video. Thank you guys. See you right back here in the next one. Bye.